Hi, this is John from DenverMowerPros.com or for a mobile repair call us 720-298-6397. Today we're going to reveal you what to do when you may pull the cringe starter on your lawnmower. Firstly, permits take a look at for blade obstruction. Put on painting's gloves, disconnect the spark plug twine, and tip the mower on its facet with the air filter up. If you spot a department or other object below the mower deck preventing the blade from spinning, get rid of it. Reconnect the spark plug, and you should be able to begin the mower. Now, if you didn't find whatever blocking off the blade, you would possibly have a trouble with the recoil starter, or the engine is probably locked up. We'll cast off the blower housing to test the recoil starter. On this type of engine, the blower housing is straightforward to dispose of, and the drawback starter comes off with the housing. Disconnect the spark plug once more and launch the starter rope from the lawnmower handle. Remove the screws from the blower housing and pull the housing off the engine. Pull the starter rope to look if the box starter works. If the cringe starter is locked up or cracked, replace it. The box starter is simple to replace on this lawnmower. Pull off the shield, after which launch the recoil starter from the tabs on the blower housing. Remove the vintage starter and snap the new one into the tabs. Reinstall the flinch starter guard, and also you're geared up to reattach the blower housing to the engine. If the recoil starter works, then you can have oil inside the cylinder inflicting a hydraulic lock. Tipping the mower ahead or on its side with the air clear out down can fill the cylinder with oil. The piston can't compress the liquid oil, so the engine seizes up. To check for this hassle, take away the spark plug, clamp the bail control bar all the way down to release the blade brake, and manually rotate the starter cup to peer if the engine rotates without the spark plug. If the engine spins with the spark plug removed, reinstall the blower housing and pull the starter rope numerous times to clean oil out of the cylinder. Remove the clamp from the bail control bar, reinstall the spark plug, and reconnect the spark plug cord. You may also find the engine starts off evolved after clearing the cylinder. The engine may also sputter and smoke until the cylinder burns off the oil. If you couldn't rotate the starter cup with the spark plug eliminated, then the engine probable has an internal failure which includes an ethical crankshaft or a locked up piston. Have a carrier technician look at and repair the engine. I desire this helped you out. Click that subscribe button, and all will let you recognize when we post new repair motion pictures here at the DenverMowerPros.com YouTube channel.